Hey all my YouTube friends, uh, thanks for stopping by, checking out this video. Welcome back, good to see you here. Um, I knew I know I said I was going to have the next video be the, the uh, Forge Press actually operating. Ran into a couple of snags at the hydraulic shop, they ran out of fittings and a suction hose. So I, I had to um, wait a day for those. And then I also, on the recommendation of the of the of the tech, there I had a half inch return line here, and he recommended I had a have a three quarter inch uh, for the amount of flow I'm going to be having on this pump. So I cut that out yesterday, retrofitted that, uh, changed that fitting out, and the lines came in today. Brought them home, hooked everything up, had to uh, make an additional bracket for mounting the. Uh, the hydraulic filter so that's all done this is the electrically actuated uh, spool valve had a kind of a hiccup with this uh, that this block is is fairly long this way so I assumed that the valve mounts in line with it and uh, when I had it twisted that way none of the mounting holes or the ports lined up so I thought something went wrong when they shipped this to me. So I sent pictures off to the company and they wrote back and said, Hey, genius, rotate it 90 degrees. <laughs> so I turned that, the ports lined up, it bolted down perfectly. So that's all ready to go. Um, pumps mounted back up, uh, suction hose, all the final assembly is done. All the gaskets are in, everything's tightened down, torqued, taped up and ready to go. Um, there's the pressure gauge is all mounted up. Goes up to 5,000 psi. We'll be pulling about 3,000 with this system, just a touch over 3,000. And then the eight foot long hoses um, that hook up to the cylinder. And uh, eight foot so I can run them through, through the other side of the wall and uh, have this be uh, fairly quiet while it's running in the shop and uh, not be distracted by all that noise. So hopefully it works out great. Um, I really wanna just fill this thing up with hydraulic fluid and get busy with it. But um, when I got it all done and started thinking about that, um, to save a few bucks, I went with uh, regular ends and uh, fittings on the cylinder. You can see there. And I started thinking if um, if I hook this up inside the shop for testing and and uh, and um, wiring and all that stuff, and then go ahead and disconnect these lines, I'm going to have hydraulic fluid everywhere. So um, before I actually fire this up, I'm going to go ahead and run back up to the hydraulic shop and uh, get the quick disconnects for this. This is going to be about another $130, $140. Uh, for the for the hundred uh, for the quick disconnects, but uh, definitely worth it. And then the, the other benefit to that is uh, when I do flood the system with a with the hydraulic fluid, um, I'll alternate alternate the male female ends so that I'll be able to actually hook these together for the initial startup and uh, run the the fluid through the suction port, the pump, the filter. And all the lines and everything then top it back up and then finally I'll hook it up to the cylinder and uh, and get going that way but then once I do all my testing inside the garage get all the wiring done and uh, have it operating properly then I'll just be able to snap off those quick disconnects run it through the wall and uh, not have to worry about dumping hydraulic fluid everywhere so that's uh, I don't know what episode we're up to on this maybe five by now with all the updates but uh, uh, just wanted to share the power unit turned out really cool <laughs> and uh, no I'm not gonna fill it up with nitro uh, I think we'll just settle for uh, regular hydraulic fluid and um, and see how she runs so again all the uh, all the final fabrication done on the on the um, on the press itself and uh, just waiting on those quick disconnects and uh, some wiring to get this up and running. So stay tuned. Hopefully by the end of next weekend, I'll have uh, I'll have all the fittings, have everything hooked up, the wiring done, at least the uh, the wiring to the hand switch, and um, 
as and uh, I, I still have to fabricate the foot pedal with the micro switches so uh, that might be a little ways out but uh, I will have it up and running with the uh, with the, uh, the the handheld uh, switch so stay tuned for that thanks for stopping by and checking it out and uh, we're in the home stretch here guys stay tuned and it will be squishing some metal real soon thanks and um, and I appreciate all the likes and shares and the, and the recent people who subscribed. Uh, it's much appreciated. Thanks so much, guys. And uh, as soon as this is done, then we'll get into another series on, uh, on the different dies and accessories that I have uh, planned for, for this and some of the work that we'll be doing with it. Again, thanks for stopping by and uh, stay tuned. Be safe out there and have a great one. Bye-bye.